Yes, I know we're back in the lanes in between, so shut up. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you all. Hey everybody, this is Double RPG, and welcome to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP. In today's episode, we are going back into the Enchanted Dominion world as Aqua, and we will complete it all in its entirety. With no time lapse this time, if I might add. Anyway, on with the episode already in progress. And as you can see by that light that's traveling far away from Maleficent's fortress, that is Aurora's heart, which we freed as Ventus, and... It's making its way back to Aurora's castle. But right now, our main objective in this episode is to defeat Maleficent, which we are going to do so right now, and we are going to make our way over to the fortress as Aqua. Now, there's no battles uh, when walking up the walkway here, so feel privileged at this part. So, um, one thing that I do need to address is that if some of you... Um, some of you may actually not like the uh, time-lapse things that I do, kind of like what Chugga Conroy does. But, um, and I know some of you actually do like that. But uh, for those of you who don't like it, it's because when I do time-lapse on those parts, those are parts that we've already seen done in uh, previous episodes. But in this episode, um, there are things that are different in Aqua scenario that were not present in Vin or Terra scenario that will be different. So, um, for those of you who um, saw the huge long time lapse in uh, Dwarf Woodlands in the last episode, that is why I went through that, because uh, pretty much it was us going to the uh, Queen's Chamber in the Dwarf Woodlands, and pretty much a lot of it is what we've already seen when we played as Terra, so, yeah, that's what it was like, so, but feel privileged that it's not going to happen in this episode today, as it's just going to be a straightforward LP in the Enchanted Dominion. So, anyway, um, right now we are defeating the uh, Orc Guards and the uh, other uh, minions or lowly uh, servants of Maleficent. So, yeah, they're always going to be a big pain in the butt, especially the Orc Guards. And, uh, and we are going to make our way to Maleficent's throne room, which should be right after we get this treasure chest. And there will be a cutscene that will ensue once we get into the throne room. And that is Aqua is going to meet up with Vin, and it's going to take place right before Vin leaves. You don't believe me? That's unfortunate, for he agreed so easily. He did? Vin, don't be fooled! <laughs> Aqua! Yep. It just happens right before that. he leaves to go find Tara. Oh God, but well we thought. tried to persuade him to come back home, but he yeah. is not going to agree so easily, yeah. as he the fears that Tara may be in really big danger. Even amongst the closest of friends. After all, one never knows the secrets of another's heart. I'm sure you'll agree, Ventus. Aqua. <sighs> The master sent me. Huh? Then, let's go home. But Terra... Terra's not ready to leave yet. <sighs> Sorry, Aqua. But... I can't go with you. What? It's yeah, just, it was very sad when I we saw it as Vin, but it kind of seems like nothing's going on Vin, as he has to go find Terra himself, so... About the keyblade? A yeah. source of power. A key that opens the hearts of men of entire world. And Maleficent is going ahead and just claiming about the keyblade once again. And she mentions that she met with Xehanort, who knows about the keyblade about what it does, where it can open people's hearts, in which she finds to be very fascinating, if I might add, which will lead her to try to steal all the hearts of the Princesses of Light in Kingdom Hearts 1. So, yeah, that is, that is where she is learning about the Keyblade. But Malefic Maleficent is going to trick us, and she is going to send, send us down into the dungeon, which she's going to write about now. Oh, deceitful! But we will not be alone in this dungeon because there will be somebody else who will be with us. 
Who are you? And indeed, there is somebody with this. That is, is Prince Hot Philip, who Looks Aurora like met the at the forest when, when we saw her memory inside her heart when we played as Vin. So, yes, he has been kidnapped by Aurora, but he is not going to be kidnapped for quite a while because he is going to save Aurora from her slumber. But this time, he's not going to be alone to fight against her. And now we have the three good fairies joining us, which is Meriwether, Flora, and Fauna. to true love may be barred by many more dangers which you alone will have to face i'm going with you there's something i need to know and maleficent has the answer yes of course dear now come along we must hurry to aurora yep so now we need to make our way out of the castle which we will go ahead and do so right now but there is a moogle shop and a save point but we won't waste our time with that but there is a big treasure chest that will give us the map of the Enchanted Dominion. So that is where we get the map for this world when we play as Aqua. But other than that, let's go ahead and we'll make our way out of the castle right now. And there will be a bunch of Maleficent's uh, lowly servants along the way, which we will have to defeat in order to get past them. So, yep, just hack and slash and grind to your heart's content when you're going through the rest of this castle. There is a part when we team up with Prince Philip in one of these sections of the castle that I had a really hard time with. It, it involves some really bad platforming issues. Uh, that is one of the things that I did not like about the Kingdom Hearts games. Well, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 wasn't that heavy on platforming, but Kingdom Hearts 1, yes, it wasn't that bad. But Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep and Recoded, oh my god, has the platforming got worse. But, uh... Yes, um, Maleficent's Raven is summoning the lowly guards who are going to try and attack us. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be teaming up with Prince Philip right here, which we are going to defeat Maleficent's guards, so that way we can try to get out of the castle more. Or her goons, if you want to call them. Um, we cannot even forge any D-Links once we're using, um, uh, once we have allies that are side-fighting alongside us, so, yeah. It's kind of a shame, but... Yeah, I guess beggars can't be choosers, but yeah, go ahead and defeat the goons that are in this room, and uh, after we defeat them, then we can go ahead and try to make our way out further of the castle, but uh, yeah, it's just all the goons that are in the castle. There are no unverse that we have to fight, not until we get back outside, when we get back on the walkway and get into the forest, so... Um, yeah, it's just all goons goons right here. And I always tend to be repeating myself. And hey, I'm sorry, but I try to keep the let's I keep the let I try to keep the let's play very interesting. So uh we managed to defeat the first batch of goons, so we'll go ahead and we'll make our way to the next room. Which is the room in which we came in to get inside the castle. And we have to team up with them again to take down the guards and to try to get outside of the uh, castle gate. So, yes, and this is the part where the Blad... The... Blad? <laughs> I'm not talking about bladder or anything. Uh, Blad. Blad, Blad, Blad. <laughs> this is where the bad platforming comes into play. But you will see what I mean, and I will show you the number of times that the platforming has caused me to fall back down onto the ground floor. Now the prince will tempt you to come over to the corner and then you can hit the uh, square or triangle button to execute that trinity ability to where you can get the uh, when you can get that upper corner of the ledge to break off and you can easily get up there without any problem. So that way you can try to get up there and lower the gate to get it out of that part of the room. But just don't worry about Prince Philip as he'll just only be unconscious when his HP is depleted. But yes, we will def destroy that platform right there and uh we will be up on top to try to get over to the um to this gate switch but we end up failing the first time and now we're gonna try to make our way back and that one unexpectedly just falls on the ground so i can understand that okay let's try it again oh great <laughs> now we gotta try it again and i think 
it won't be that bad this time. So let's see if we can get on a little bit further. Okay, let's try to get this one over here. Oh, come on! Jeez! What is up with this freak with these freaking platforms? And why do we need to go back up there to fight against one more? Isn't that enough already? Why are they sticking right there at that at the ledge of the platform right there when they can easily fall off and it'll make it harder for you to try to defeat them easy, more easier. And why are they freaking archers all of a sudden? Just leave it as the orc guards. They need to be up there, not the archers. They can stay down on the ground. I can care less about the orc guards. Just make sure that the archers are down on the ground, not up there in the ledge. I know you're supposed to have archers up on the ledge because they are long range attackers, but with bad platforming like that, when you're trying to hit them, to, you know, kill them and all, but you accidentally fall down? Oh, give me a break. And I'm sorry for my little rant there, but that's just how bad the platforming is in these games. And I implore Square Enix, if you, when making more Kingdom Hearts games, make sure that the platforming is better. Take hues from Shigeru Miyamoto when he made uh, Super Mario Galaxy. The platforming was a lot better for a 3D Mario game. And there is another section right up there, another ledge that we can climb, and we need to get up there right away. And there is another switch for the gate that we need to open, and that is the main switch. Oh, pardon me. That is the main switch that we need to open to uh, get out of the castle. So uh, let's go ahead and defeat these guys really quick, and I don't think we're going to have to worry about uh, falling down as they should be. At a good spot, or we might have already defeated them, who knows. Sometimes when go up, going up these ledges, there may be treasure chests, so, yeah. It's always good to do a little bit of, little bit of exploring. They're just a bunch of commands and items that we can use. And right over here, we should be coming up to it really quick. Well, there's another treasure chest. There should be the switch. I think we are coming up to it right about now. But before that, let's go ahead and take care of these guys so they don't cause as much trouble when we're up on the ledges. There we go. Take that. Goodbye. And now we can hit the uh, crank. Or the wheel. And then we can get outside of the castle. Yes. 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 And that gives us the high jump ability after we use the uh, Trinity commands with the Prince to get up onto high ledges. Other than that, here are the Unverse that we have to fight when we're trying to make our way back over to Maleficent. I mean, not Maleficent's castle, but Aurora's castle. So yeah, we don't have to worry about the Orc Guards or the Archers anymore as they're just straight Unverse that we have to fight on our way back over to where Aurora is. So, yeah, feel fortunate. We don't have to de we don't have to deal with those guys ever again who give us such a hard time when we're playing as Ventus and when we're playing as Aqua when we're trying to get up to those platforms to try to defeat them. Thank God, it's all over. So, we're now stuck back on the ground floor and I know I seem to be repeating myself, but that's just how frustrated I am with the freaking platforms. You know, the platforming in Square games most of the time seems to be pretty bad. Wish they could do something a little bit more creative. But hey, I guess beggars can't be choosers when it comes to platforming, hey? I know platforming's really good in uh, Super Mario Brothers and in Sonic the Hedgehog. But they could try to do a little bit more innovation. I mean, I think they are trying to do a little bit more innovation, especially with the exaggerated... Uh, uh, battle animations in Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, so at least there may be some redeeming quality. Okay, now we're done here at the uh, Valley Walkway, and we will go ahead and make our way back into the forest. And there will be Unversed when we come to this part of the forest, where Aurora was staying with the three good fairies, before she had to go back to her castle in Sleeping, Be Sleeping Beauty. Because, you know, the three good fa fairies gave her uh, divine beauty, long life, and wisdom or whatever in Sleeping Beauty before Maleficent came and gave her a spell of her own. 
in which they were not all for. Even the king and queen were not really in favor of Maleficent coming for Princess Aurora's birth. So, yeah. And that just goes to show you that every lady Disney villain kind of like Maleficent and the queen from uh, Snow White and Lady Tremaine, they are all jealous of the beauty of the Disney princesses. Or princesses. Not princesses. It That doesn't sound right. Should be princesses. Okay. And we get... I think this will be the last round of Unverse we will have to fight in this world, but I could be wrong. But uh, let's go ahead and defeat them, and then we will make our way further. For some reason, I don't know why I haven't even done it with Ventus, or I'm not going to be able to do it with Aqua either, but I don't understand why I didn't use the uh, D-Links of Donald and Goofy. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, let's go ahead and make our way to this part of this section of the forest, where we will get a save spot, and a sticker, and a treasure chest. But I'm not sure if we could get the sticker. Yeah, I yeah we got the sticker. So, uh, all right. I don't know whether we could or not. But uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, my my bad. It's just that my video is so slow when I'm doing the recording process. It always just seems like it's float float along smoothly. Whenever I was recording, the video would play just fine. But I don't know what happened. But. Maleficent is getting really angry, and now she is going to prevent us from getting inside Aurora's castle. So, yeah, looks like we got ourselves another boss fight to play. And this is very reminiscent of Maleficent. Prince Philip battling against uh, Maleficent really when they suck. fought each other in uh, Sleeping Beauty. And, yeah, Have the way he, he, de he defeated Maleficent, but it seemed to be more... More of a uh, mature killing as opposed to this because um, uh, Maleficent will not die in this game as she is needed in the other games. So yes, she is transforming into the dragon that we fought in Kingdom Hearts 1. And uh, we are going to be fighting it as Aqua and having Prince Philip help us. So yeah. It's a pretty easy fight here, too. There will be times when Prince Philip will ask you to come over to him so he can throw you up onto the dragon's back where you can do some damage onto it and so you can try to knock it off of the sky. Yep, and uh, the dragon will be using its normal means of attack like uh, biting and uh, blowing its uh, hellish flames at you. So, yeah, nothing new, but not that hard to get around. And the music uh, called The Encounter from Kingdom Hearts 2 is playing in this battle. And uh, it and it's a more... Uh, I mean, it's the second rendition of fighting against Disney villains. The first one was Squirming Evil from Kingdom Hearts 1. And this is uh, The Encounter that was in Kingdom Hearts 2. And it, it actually fits really well when you're fighting some of the more uh, deadlier enemies. Kind of like Maleficent here. But I don't know why they didn't even... Eat use something that was a bit more um, intense for music in Kingdom Hearts 1. I know that Deep End was kind of the closest that it could possibly get, but it would have been nice if something like this were to make it in Kingdom Hearts 1. But hey, that that was a long ways ago, you know, from Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 when they were, were both released. But anyway, um, we defeated Maleficent in her dragon form, and that gave us a maximum HP increase, and we learned the Firestorm command style. And with that, we have now completed the Enchanted Dominion as Aqua, as Prince Philip is now going to deal with the final killing blow 
on Maleficent's dragon form. But like I said, it's not going to fully destroy her, as it will just render her powerless. And thus the curse is, li curse is lifted and Aurora's castle is back to normal. So Prince Philip is going to make his way back into the castle so he can wake up Princess Aurora. And we are going to be confronting Maleficent about her own misdeeds of what she was trying to do all this time. And there she is limping, trying to get away. But she's going to need a valuable lesson, which she is way too clouded to accept. You will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. And there is something greater with the power of love. We've seen that in many video games, movies, cartoons, animes of any sort. So, yeah. It's a very powerful theme. And thus, Princess Aurora wakes up from her slumber, and Maleficent failed in trying to obtain her heart and to keep her sleeping forever. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. And they will all belong to me! <laughs> yes, as long as there's light, there will be darkness. But they must all... But both elements must be kept at bay. You better stay strong for me. Yes, she's worried that Terra might succumb to the darkness, but he will succumb to it, but at least he still has his heart of light with him. And thus we get the Fairy Star's Keyblade and Xehanort's Report 6, and that completes the Enchanted Dominion. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here for this episode. So next time on Double RPG, let's play with Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep on the PSP. We are going to be going to Radiant Garden as Aqua, and we'll see how far along we get with that get from there. Anyway, take care of yourselves, gamers, and if you haven't done so already, please go check out my review of the game over at gotgame.com, and I'll see you on the next episode. See you guys then!